that too often we do not get the truth out of this administration. As we go through the, the budget, and unfortunately, the estimates have not been made public. They're not available on the government site. Um, and I'm even told, even the senators who are supposed to debate these estimates have not received them as yet. I'm not too sure why they're hiding the numbers. But from what we have seen, I look and I believe something is wrong with the administration in terms of their ability to manage. If St. Kitts, who do not have close to the growth that we tout, can afford to give stimulus and double salaries with lesser growth than Antigua and Barbuda. Why is it not possible here? We're at the end of the year, rather than getting double salaries, a lot of em government employees are not being paid. And the pensioners have to wait till the next year to get pensions. Is it a management problem that we face? That this administration are poor managers of the resources of the country? Because it can't be money. They claim we have the highest growth. As a matter of fact, when you look at the introduction to the, the first few statements in the budget statement, it begins, our nation's economy is bouncing back. The economy is growing at a rapid pace. Tourism is recovering and employment is increasing. The people of our country have not been burdened with new and huge debt. Instead, we have kept borrowing down to an absolute minimum. However, in order to further stimulate the economy, we have to increase borrowings in 2022. If you're managing the economy, if you're growing, if you're generating revenues, then you shouldn't have to borrow a third of your budget. Something is wrong with that picture. So, I hope that the people of Antigua and Barbuda can recognize exactly what is happening to our country. That this administration has made enemies left, right, and center. No reputable person is willing to do business with the Gaston Brown administration. In the first few years of his administration, he was flying all over the world. And what has he brought back to us to show for all the trips that has benefited the people of Antigua and Barbuda? For all of the billion dollars in CIP investment, when you look around Antigua, what have you seen for the billion dollars in CIP money? Nothing. So I hope that looking at the picture as to where Antigua and Barbuda is now, the people will recognize where the problem lies. And the problem lies at the head of the administration and with the Antigua Labor Party. They need to move aside so that a breath of fresh air can flow through Antigua and Barbuda. That people will once again respect us. We can have commonality with the leaders around the country, the leaders in business around the world, so that Antigua and Barbuda can have real economic growth that will benefit the poorest of the poor and all the people of Antigua and Barbuda.